the pyramid on the dollar bill mm -hmm. has is not the the capstone, which is the top triangle uh, on the on the dollar bill, is called the capstone uh, or the uh, the chief cornerstone. And Christians say Jesus is the cornerstone of the church. No, Jesus is not the cornerstone of the church. There are a lot of churches called the cornerstone church, but they got it wrong because the Christians uh, have no idea what that word cornerstone means. It's a corner of a building. It's a cornerstone. And it's the first block, it's the first brick, uh, first stone you lay. And then depending on how that one is laid out, once you draw straight lines from it, that's the cornerstone of a church. Well, Jesus is not the cornerstone of the church. The Bible doesn't say that. It says twice in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Jesus in the New Testament is referred to as the chief, C-H-I-E-F, chief cornerstone that the builders rejected. But in the Old Testament, the, uh, and I think it's in the book of Isaiah, one place, uh, the Messiah is referred to as the chief cornerstone. Not cornerstone, chief, C-H-I-E-F, don't forget it, hmm. chief cornerstone. And the chief cornerstone in the Hebrew theology, in the Hebrew Bible, if you take that word for chief cornerstone in Hebrew and go to a Bible dictionary and look it up, it will tell you the chief cornerstone was a symbol for Messiah, the Messiah of the Jews. Yeah. And the symbol for the Messiah was a chief cornerstone, and it will tell you that's a triangle that sits on top of a pyramid. But it's not connected to the pyramid because it's above the pyramid. The pyramid represents the body of mankind. And that's why it's called a pyramid. Pyramid. Pyramid comes from two words. Pyra. P-Y-R-A. Pyra. Pyra is a fire. Like pyro, pyromaniac, pyrotech. Pyra. P-Y-R-A is a fire. And mid, M-I-D, is the middle. And so a pyramid means fire in the middle. Why? Because the fire of sexual generation is in the middle of the human body. It's a pyramid, fire in the middle. Mm -hmm. Get it? And once you understand that the fire in the middle is the creation of human life for the whole universe, between male and female that causes humans to be here is the fire in the middle or the pyramid. Right. And that the chief cornerstone is the ultimate power that decides uh, the ultimate destiny of the pyramid. But it doesn't touch the pyramid because it's above it. And so that's why it's called the chief cornerstone and Jesus is connected to the chief cornerstone because he is the pyramid and it's a very ancient story a very fascinating when you get into it and see how the pyramid the great pyramid of egypt is connected directly to stonehenge stonehenge is the magic circle of stones and if you draw a line straight from the from the back of the pyramid straight through the front door and, go, and draw a straight line a laser light across the world, it will cross the Great Pyramid in Giza. And so that's why in the in the book of Isaiah it says in Isaiah nineteen nineteen that there was a that there was a pyramid in the middle of Egypt and God put it there and it said this is wonderful. It's God's work. It's a it's a I can't remember exactly the scripture, but it's Isaiah nineteen nineteen talks about the pyramid. So just keep in mind when you go to public buildings uh, and restaurants and hotels and whatever, big uh, public buildings, you will always see a man's, uh, the men's room, the men's room is always a triangle. And the women's room is always a circle. The circle represents the stone hinge, the female. And the triangle on the men's restroom and public buildings represents the fire in the middle, men. And the fire in the middle is in the middle of the human body. So uh, you need to understand the dark secrets that's been hidden from you by the world's religions. They know all about the connection between the sexual generation for humans, the pyramid 
on the back of the dollar bill and all of the dark sexual stuff that's going on today around the world, you really need to wake up and find out what the real truth is before you die. It would be interesting for you to find out what you don't know about the world you live in. 